Hey guys, hope you're all well. So, um, October favourites. I've got some style things, I've got some beauty. Um, I think I'll start with beauty and then just going on to style. So this month I think I have been trialling a few new bits and bobs. And some of the things I forgot to mention last month. So some of these things are things I've been loving for months, not even just October. So anyway, I'll just dive in. Oh, if in case you're wondering, my this dress I'm wearing is from Zara. I love it. Um, I can't find it online, so I'll try and link some alternatives down below. Okay, the, th the first thing is something that I forgot to mention last month, and it's just this Garnier Body, Garnier Body Ultimate Body Oil. I love this so much. I picked this up on a whim in like a random tiny boots near me, because just because I had, didn't have any cream or anything to use at the time, and I wanted something that would be quick and easy to use. <sighs> Even like getting in and out of the shower these days, and just the whole like routine routine at the moment is so. I'm so much more sluggish at it so I wanted something that was really quick and easy to use and that would leave me really moisturized and I love this and I love the smell of it it's cheap and cheerful mm. oh it smells so nice it sinks in really quickly I don't notice like I don't have any oily residue or anything really after I use it so let me know if you use this as well and if you like it okay next for like bath and body is this aromatherapy associates but body <laughs> bath oil. I've been having so many more baths than I used to have recently because you know like my muscles are tired a lot of the time it's just a really nice way to kind of relax my body and my mind. It's called the Clear Mind Bath oh and shower oil oh my god I didn't know you could use it in the shower. I love this so much I'm sure you can get slightly cheaper alternatives but these actual ones they are I think it's worth the money like they're amazing. It just turns your whole bathroom into this sensory experience. <laughs> it makes you feel like you're in a spa it's lovely. So. Perfume wise I've been going back to my Tom Ford Noir quite a lot but I've talked about that so many times on my channel so I didn't really want to show it to you again because if you watch if you watch me a lot you would have seen me talk about it a lot but I've also been going back to this it's um, Jazz Club by Replica I love the Replica perfume so much each of them is so amazing and so different I think this is one of their unisex ones I'm gonna spray it now actually <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I just love it. Like, it kind of smells like men. <laughs> it says heady cocktails and cigars. I wrote a blog post on this, or like on a few, I think I wrote a blog post on the line actually, like last year. So I'll try and link that down below if you want a bit more of an explanation on this. Musky and kind of heady, <laughs> sexy. It's just one that I love now that it's a bit colder. It just suits this time of year perfectly. There is some noise coming from upstairs or next door and it's like a constant banging. What are they doing? It sounds like someone's either bonking or like working out. Okay, next I wanted to talk about this eyebrow pencil because I've been loving it this month. It's been pretty much what's been on my brows all month, but of course not today. <laughs> I've used a MAC paint box, I couldn't find this earlier. But um, I used to use this ages ago. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. Um, but I think I used to have it in a different colour. I got it in taupe because so many, um, so many eyebrow colours are way too dark for my natural brows because they're actually not they're quite light. Um, so this works quite well for me. I quite like that you can build it up as well. It's kind of, it's more designed for blonde, blonde gals. <laughs> I, I'm sure I could use the colour down from this as well, but oh my god, it just gives you such a precise brow shape. It's also really quick and easy to use, you know, like when you want to just dash out the house but you really want to put your brows on, it you can just get them done really quickly. I also love the spoolie on the end. I don't know, it, like it sounds weird to love a spoolie but it really grabs each hair and shapes them easily really easily so I love this um, I got this from cult beauty that's where you can get your hands in it in the UK okay. the next makeup item is a lipstick i had been wanting to pick this lipstick up for ages it's one of those Mac lipsticks that I'd heard about and I never like I've only just got it anyway it's in honey love and it looks like this. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's a very nude, like this is kind of like the lightest I'll go for a nude. You know when you just want that kind of pale, not pale, like that sounds really 2009, but <laughs> just a nude lip basically. I also really like layering this and putting lip gloss on top, which I've done today as well. I've got a bit of lip gloss on top of it. Um, and it's a matte, so, but I love the MAC mattes. <laughs> They're not too drying. They're still really comfortable, it lasts ages. Um, and it's easy to layer with. Next I've got a brush and I really like talking about brushes. Is that really nerdy? But I think when you're really into beauty, 
brushes are exciting. <laughs> anyway, it's this Clinique brush. Okay, so it looks like this. And sorry, it's dirty because I've I've used it this morning to put my foundation on, but I love this so much. I think this was actually sent to me. I, I really didn't expect to love this brush. Like, look at, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I don't really like the look of it. <laughs> and then I started using it and I love it. It's become my favorite foundation brush. Um, I just, I really like how dense it is, but it's also, um, stippling and it's just such a good like balance for to get the perfect base it washes well as well um, it doesn't shed it hasn't shed or anything while I've had it this was another unexpected one but love it okay next is the Kat Von D shade and light face contour palette obviously this has been around for so long and I've only just got my hands in it I got it the other week I went into Kat Von D is opened here in the UK and I got it in this is not an ad by the way and but yeah I popped into the Debenhams Oh my god, what's she doing? Ooh. Popped into Debenhams on Oxford Street because I really wanted to get my hands on this. And I really, I've really liked it this month. This is what it looks like. Uh, I love how big it is for a start. I love how big the mirror is. I use this to do all of my makeup sometimes. Day to day I use this one usually. Um, I think I've only used this one a few times. This one is very strong, like it's, it doesn't even look that dark. I didn't think it was dark. Then when I went to apply it on my skin, it was really dark. So it takes, you know, this one takes more time to blend into my skin and you know, I can't really rush it. But this one is very easy to use, like when I'm on the go, day to day. And I really like the tone of it. It's very, it's a cooler tone, so it doesn't look, doesn't doesn't make you look cakey and orangey or anything. I don't know if I'd really use the light ones, but definitely is worth it for these three. Okay, we're done with beauty stuff. Next, I wanted to talk about a candle. This is a Ditty candle, but I also wanted to say, like, okay, I don't know how to explain this. The candle itself is the amber one, but I've got this recently and it's kind of like a candle holder, basically. It kind of looks cracked, but not cracked. <laughs> It's so beautiful um, and when the candle's lit inside, the reflection of the, the candle itself through this glass is just lovely on the wall. I'm gonna, I'll try and do a cutaway because I'm not explaining it well, <laughs> but I've been loving putting the candle in this basically. So um, this is from Diptyque as well, so I'll link it down below. This would be such a nice gift for someone. I know it doesn't look like much now, but I'll try and get a good cut away. And then I had to mention this because I've been loving this this month. It's Amber. Um, I, I've probably spoken about Amber. I've probably spoken about Amber before. Like I have a few definite favorites from Diptyque and this is one of them. Such a good kind of autumn scent because it's not too firewoody and it's not too sweet. It's somewhere in the middle. It's such a velvety sort of smell. Um, that's how I'd explain it. Okay, on to some style favorites. The first thing are these shoes that I, I love them so much. <laughs> So they're these shoes from ASOS. I did a post on about these on my blog or just showing them on my blog as well. I've like shown them on my Instagram. I love them. Um, so they're just these kind... It's like they're a cross between so many different types of shoes. I know this is probably not the best way of showing them. I got these on ASOS. I don't know if I said that, but I'll link them down below. Um, hopefully they're still available. And yeah, at first they did, I did have to break them in a little bit, but now they're fine. And, and I've only worn them like, I've only worn them a few times. They're such a cool statement piece, but without being too leery and colorful and in your face, quite an easy thing to add into your wardrobe. These on the other hand are leery and in your face. <laughs> But I love them so much. They're these slippers. So these are also from ASOS. So if you guys have been watching my vlogs this month, you would have seen these already. Riley's actually had a little go at them because he like, he always rips up my slippers. But um, they're these multicolored unicorn slippers. But look at them. <laughs> I love how crazy they are. They'd make me really happy just to look at and to have like around the house, that's really sad, but. Okay, that's it for the style things. There's actually, oh my, there has been loads of things that I've been liking style-wise, but would you guys like if I was to do a style favorites video monthly as well? Okay, before I go, I wanted to mention some like TV, films, music kind of things. Um, and, oh no, first I wanted to say what YouTubers I've been loving this month. I have been really enjoying Tammy Hembrell's YouTube channel and Reese Hawkins. I just find their lives really interesting because I live in Australia and she's just so gorgeous. Like, <laughs> it's just really like interesting having a little look into their lives. You guys probably know of them already because she's so huge on Instagram, but I'll link their channels down below. Um, yeah, so, oh God, 
baby is moving. <laughs> For TV, Jason and I have been really getting into Westworld. Um, at first, it's another one of those things, at first I was like, oh, this looks crap. And then we started watching it and I was like, this is actually right up my alley. Because it's like sci-fi slash, well, it's yeah, it's quite sci-fi based. But um, it's set in like a Western world, but it's not really a Western world. Yeah, it's based on a really old film, which I didn't know actually. I love the cast. It's just got us really hooked. Um, I think there's only been about four episodes so far. Yeah, definitely recommend it if you like sci-fi and drama, thriller, kind of Western stuff. <laughs> Film-wise, we just went to see American Honey the other night and I really enjoyed it. It's one of those films where I came out and I was a bit like, oh, like the end was weird. But now I've had like a day or two after it, I just, I really enjoyed it. But I really like films like that that are kind of more real, more gritty. Um, you know, not, not your typical Hollywood kind of film. I liked that it was all set around a younger cast. Um, I loved that the lead girl was not your, like, t you know, there was a bit of diversity there. She's a mixed race girl. Um, and I just really liked seeing that. You just, you don't see that that much these days. And she was really good. And also Shia LaBeouf is in it. But it's one of those films that kind of stays with you a little bit afterwards. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what the ending meant. Let me know if you, <laughs> let me know if you understood it. Yeah, I would recommend it. Um, probably not to anyone that young though. <laughs> Music wise, I've been loving, a song I've been rinsing is, I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but Muramasa um, Never Felt This Good, I think it's called. Um, it's kind of a reworking of Alicia Keys Never Felt This Good or So Good, uh, which I used to really like that song, so hearing a, a remix of it, it's, just, it's such a good remix of the song. I'll link that down below as well if I can. Ah, my hair's driving me mad. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, if I've forgot, if I've forgotten anything, I'll try and link it down below. Don't forget to subscribe just to keep updated with my videos. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And also follow me on Snapchat if you want more kind of bump updates, because every week I tend to do a little like, bump mirror selfie sort of thing. Yeah, that's where I share a lot of my bump stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.